he uh, got a chance to not only kick it, but get in on the tackle. So he'll have something to tell his family tonight on the phone. Yeah, those kickers love that opportunity. I, I see here we were talking about a 50-yard field goal. And I have to mention Chris Snyder's record-setting 57-yard field goal back in 02. And I was here. Yeah, and Snyder always loved to try to, he loved to think that he was to get in the mix and wanted to lay, lay sticks on people. And, <laughs> and he did. I have to give him credit. Yeah, he did from time to room. time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Fogel with a carry of about a yard, maybe two as he tries to find something in the middle against this Grizz D. Seeing some new bodies out there. Bo Harris, the defensive tackle from Fairfield, in on that stop. And uh, the uh, new quarterback out there is Chance Barlow. He's an 189-pound freshman. He's seen a little bit of action this year for the Aggies as uh, they've mixed it up between the two. Little sprint option here as he brings it outside and finds a hole. As Barlow breaks a tackle, still going, and finally bringing him down at about the 19-yard line, it's going to be Jamal Anderson saving the touchdown. Oh, nice run there. Nice job patiently waiting to find the hole and then turn it upfield. And we'll get a great look at it here. This is going to be right, right at you. Nice little move there, and Montana having a little trouble once they get their mitts on him. Coach won't be happy about the, the lack of tackling there. Helma comes off, so he'll Barlow will have to come out of the ball game, and uh, they'll bring in yet another number 19 going to be quarterback here. It's Bo Avila, so Avila will come in and give it to a second back through. And so come on, Moore will get a, a yard or two on the carry, and now we'll get Barlow back in. His, his Helma came off at the end of that play, and so he has to come out of the ball game. Again, one of the new rules. Yep. And I think uh, I think the Aggies want to see him in the game. I mean, a little spark like that that he has, at least from running the football, uh, see if they can't get him a little bit more experience. And they're bringing a lot of new players in the ballgame as well. The Aggies, it's a great chance for uh, Gas Camp to find out what his other guys are like. So they're taking some time to bring in a lot of fresh legs. Yeah, you're right. So we're going to move things around out there as Barlow out of the shotgun. Three to the left. He's going to keep it. Quarterback draw, and he's going to run right in the middle and I, right into the hands of the big guy, Bo Harrison Company, up front. Seemed like a little bit of confusion there. I'm not sure if that play was supposed to be run that direction. And again, that's going to happen with new guys. You've got people changing and, and what have you. Welcome back to the noise here, Washington Grizz. But later tonight, the action to move south on Max Media as Montana State takes on Stephen F. Austin. Of course, check your Max Media guide. You'll catch those games right here as Big Guy, Big Sky Game Day continues. And continuing right along and doing a good job running is Barlow. And Chance Barlow, pretty shifty back there, all six foot, 189 pounds as he spins himself down inside the five yard line. Yeah, Ron, you can see why they like him. Uh, I love the play call there. This is a design draw. Nice job pulling the offensive lineman around front. Big, wide open in space. Cuts back against the grain a little bit. Had big old Dominique Wyatt out in front of him, number 60 there. So good, good doing a good job moving the ball. It's Chance Barlow for the Aggies, and they're getting finally some real nice, smooth offensive play. Holbrook was doing okay, but we haven't seen him much. I'm looking actually on the sideline because even when he was, uh, when they couldn't have, Barlow stay, Barlow stay in the game. They brought in another guy. So mm -hmm. now we're going to have a timeout by the Aggies as they're having problems getting things together. So the Aggies, now you see, uh, I see a Holbrook stepping out there saying uh, high five. So we're going to take a break with a timeout on the field. We'll take one as well on Big Sky Grizzlies. Yeah, it's fun to see. I mean, it's, it's neat every time. We've had a lot of brother, uh, there's a couple of brother sets on the team right now. We've had it in the past, the guys that, that I knew, the Hancocks from, from Kansas and it's it's always neat to see where one of the older brother comes and has some success, and the little brother says, the "Hey, Grattons, I want to follow." Him. Yeah, yeah the, oh, the Grattons. I mean, yeah, the I mean, phenomenal. When you turn around, you got the cousins too, with the uh, Richardson cousins, both playing yep. tight end. Yeah, as a linebacker, now they're both tight ends. So, good stuff going there. No gain on the first play for the Aggies, as uh, we're late into the about halfway through the fourth quarter. Hurt here in Washington Grizz, and again, this is game one of our Big Sky Game Day. As Barlow is going to take it and roll out, and he gets his man out of the backfield into the hands of Justin Fogel. Yeah. Fogel will get out of bounds at about the 25, just shy of a first down. Yeah, Barlow, I, you know, I think that they they probably see something here today that uh, you might want to stick around with because his ability to get outside the pocket and move has been 
uh, really, at least in the second half, the shining light uh, of their offense. And I, I actually like the way they get him out of the pocket. It's almost like they're calling a whole different offense because mm -hmm. with a Holbrook staying in the pocket where Barlow doesn't want to. Right. Stacking it up. Third and short. They're gonna, quarterback's going to keep it. Barlow's going to be close with the second ever. I think he got it. Yep, exactly. Kind of little zone read there. Just, uh, you know, decide to, to go ahead and pull the, the fullback dive and gets it himself. When he comes off that. Left side, and you see uh, Peavy jumps. Peavy goes inside. He's the end on that side, and he went after the fullback. And Barlow found that hole and pulled it back and read the option right. That's a great illustration of exactly how that's supposed to be run. His eyes are on Peavy. As Barlow watches, he just looks at Peavy. If Peavy crashes down hard like that, you pull the ball and get upfield and get yourself a first down. First and ten with the clock ticking here. Washington Grizz. Barlow going to give it off on the draw play as he hands it back on the run and uh, they'll get a couple yards but a great defense good closing defense out there on the edge for the for the Montana Grizz is yeah you get Denard here on the the corner you can see him hoping to spread the field outside good job good stick that's tough for those cornerbacks you know typically not the biggest guys on the field and they're having to meet and, and make sticks with the with the running back nice and, job and Denard last year in a starting position so this year coming in and, and that says a lot when you have a guy that started quite a few games for you that's having to come in and, and play with the twos and the threes right. the, the, that whole secondary has gotten so improved again Fogel is going to take the carry as he's going to go over that side They're doing a good job again coming up and putting a hit on early as Addison Owen uh, as he comes through there and trips him up and slows him down Good job by Zach Ratton, too, coming in at the end of the play and making sure that uh, the ball doesn't go forward. See there, a good form tackle. Nice, got his hips and his hips and his thighs down low and, and delivers a stick. And again, more than one jersey there, and that's exactly yep. what uh, they're trying to get done on defense. So moving the ball, third and about four for the Aggies. Barlow looking down. And he gets pressured out of the pocket, and this is where I think he's the most dangerous. He's going to get outside, and a great job coming in and finishing him off as Lebsock. And uh, he came in and did a great job just wrapping up Connor Lebsock, taking his shoes right up from under him. Yep, and that's, uh, you can see how elusive he is out in the field, making people miss. Nice little pump fake here, thinking of the pass. And then we got Lebsock, make sure he's... Yeah, he... He takes his shoe and says, okay, I don't need that. I've got my Right own. at you there. So Barlow's going to have to uh, 